Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Phil, thanks for being here. For this video, I was originally going to test ride the Springfield Dark Horse and the Harley Road King Special, but the Indian Springfield Dark Horse that my local Indian dealer has in stock just sold, so I couldn't take it out for a ride. Instead, I took a ride on this regular Indian Springfield. The Harley competitor to the Indian Springfield is the Road King Classic, which unfortunately Harley-Davidson has discontinued starting this year. My local Harley doesn't have a used one available right now. That is a good comparison to do a test ride on. So at this point, we're going to do a versus video based on specs. The most obvious difference between the two is looks, of course. The Indian Springfield has a vintage style fenders and saddlebags and a big front end that make for a very curvy classic look, whereas the Road King Classic just looks like a regular bagger. In terms of curb appeal for the two bikes, I give it to the Indian Springfield. I know it's very subjective, but in my personal opinion, this bike looks better than the Road King Classic. The Springfield has lots of features on it, such as cruise control, keyless ignition, riding modes, remote locking saddlebags, and ABS is standard. The Road King Classic has cruise control. ABS is optional. There are no riding modes. And as far as I can tell from my research, there's no keyless ignition or remote locking saddlebags on the Road King Classic. I don't know that for certain. I couldn't find any information on that. So in terms of features, Indian wins that one as well. The engine on the Springfield is a Thunderstroke 111 with 119 foot-pounds of torque, which is interesting because if you remember my video about the Super Chief, if not, you can watch it here. The Thunderstroke 111 on the Super Chief only has 108 foot-pounds of torque. Based on what I've seen, most of the 111 engines have 119 foot-pounds, so the Super Chief appears to be the oddball out for this engine size. It is apparently tuned a little differently, maybe to provide better gas mileage with a smaller tank size. I'm not sure. The Road King Classic has a Milwaukee 8 107 with 110 foot-pounds of torque, a little less than the Indian, so the Indian wins on this one as well. Both have removable windshields. The Springfield has a 5.5 gallon tank, a 26 inch seat height, and weighs 829 pounds wet and ready to ride with a full tank. This bike actually weighs more than the Indian Chieftain, which has a full front fairing, only by a few pounds, but still that's interesting. The Harley has a six gallon tank, a 26.3 inch seat height, and weighs about 828 pounds, which is almost identical to the Springfield. Harley wins with a bigger tank for the same weight. Indian wins with a slightly lower seat height. The handlebars on both bikes are long but angled down to mid torso with quite a bit of pullback. I couldn't find any specs on the Springfield saddlebags, so I'm not sure how the two compare in regard to storage space capacity. The Springfield has a 67 inch wheelbase compared to the Road King's 64 inch, so Harley wins on that one. All in all, just looking at the specs, I would say the Springfield is a better bike. What will probably make the decision for each individual person is whether they are brand specific in the motorbikes they choose and whether they like the classic vintage styling of the Springfield or the regular bagger look of the Harley. So what was it like to ride the Springfield? I only noticed the heavier weight of this bike when coming to a stop. It does handle well at slow speeds. I did a fairly tight U-turn and pulled through a few 90 degree turns from a stop with no trouble. The engine has so much low end torque on it that I was able to pull away from a stop almost without any gas at all, without stalling the bike. The bike has lots of power and acceleration and shifting is very smooth. 
It has plenty of lean angle as well. I think the lean angle between the two bikes is almost identical. I think it might be a one degree off. The one gripe I had with the Springfield is the same gripe I had with the Super Chief, the air intake on the left side. While not as annoying as the Super Chief, I was still rubbing my left knee on the air intake cover during my ride. Even though I had no problem with the heavier weight of this bike than what I'm used to, I can honestly say I wasn't super comfortable with it. I'm not totally sure what it was about it. I had no problem leaning it or taking it around corners, even at slower speeds, but it didn't feel as natural as I was hoping it would. My gut feeling tells me the biggest reason is probably the longer wheelbase. I think a shorter wheelbase would improve the handling on this bike. My big question for all of you is why don't we see more Springfields on the road? I'm not sure I've even seen one, maybe one at a, at a bike rally or something like that. Are the Road Kings that much more comfortable or better in handling than the Springfield? Or is it just because they've been around a lot longer? Other than the longer wheelbase and slightly smaller gas tank, the Springfield is better than the Road Classic in just about every way if you're just looking at specs. So if you have any thoughts on this, leave a comment below. Let me know why you think the Road King is so much more popular than the Springfield. And does the Springfield have a chance to catch up now that the Road King Classic has been discontinued by Harley? Also, if you're enjoying these versus videos, please subscribe and like, I appreciate that support. That is it for this one, folks. Stay tuned for my next versus video, the Indian Chieftain versus the Harley Street Glide. I am super stoked about that comparison after sitting on the bikes in the dealership. See you on the next one. Take care, everyone.